hi everybody welcome back to my channel it's Casey Renee and today we're gonna do a hair tutorial um, I decided to do a voiceover because my kid was in the room making all kinds of noises as you can see I was talking because I planned on talking in the video so just don't mind that at all um, but we are going to do a high genie extended ponytail today and what I'm going to do first is I'll blow dried out my hair really good after I washed it. And now I want my hair as flat as possible. So I'm going to go through my entire head and kind of flat iron my hair down so that my ponytail will be flat once I try to put it all up in the ponytail. Because my hair is really thick. Um, so this will just, like I said, help it lay down a little better. So you see that I'm flat ironing my hair upwards um, and that's because like I said we're doing a high ponytail so I want the hair to be going in the direction of where I want my ponytail because if I do it flat then I'm going to have like strays and everything and it's just easier if you put your hair, flat iron your hair in the direction that it's going to go since I'm not wearing it down I don't want to flat iron it down I want to flat iron up to where I'm gonna have my ponytail and um so what i'm doing now because i was just kind of just grabbing pieces i'm going to section it because that'll be a lot easier in flat iron starting from the middle and then working my way around my head because i'm doing this on myself i'm not doing it as thorough as i would on somebody else i'm just really trying to give you a general idea of how you can do your own genie ponytail so just continue to watch i'm going to go around my whole head and flat iron towards the middle of my head where i'm going to have my high ponytail So now I'm done flat ironing my hair all the way through and what I'm going to do next is basically just split my hair in two, um, a ponytail in the front and a ponytail in the back just because like I said my hair is really thick so I'm going to put it, smooth the front part down first and then smooth the back part of the ponytail up into my first ponytail just to make it lay down a lot smoother so i'm just putting it in sections to be able to get a smooth high ponytail now what i'm doing is putting the top part in a ponytail just so i can um slick my hair down with the got to be uh, free spray 
So I'm just going to spray each in sections and comb it and blow dry it. And then I'll remove the ponytail holder once I'm done with the front part and make the ponytail tighter. But I just want to kind of have some, the ponytail needs to have a little bit of structure while I'm trying to smooth my hair down into the ponytail, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, I sprayed the first section above my ear with the gots to be free spray and i want to comb it down and blow dry it that way it stays in place um and it's a little bit smoother that's why you want to go section by section instead of doing the whole thing i avoided using gels um or like it controls on this part because it tends to make the hair curl up so if you just use the spray it makes it look especially if you're natural and your hair is curly it makes it lay a little bit flatter if you just use the hairspray and not gel but i am going to use edge control on like the baby hairs in the front So now that I am done with the front part, now I want to tighten the ponytail so that it can stay in place while I free spray the back. And I'm going to just do the same thing and do it in section. So I'm going to start on one side and work my way to the other side, spraying and blow drying and combing in sections. everything all sprayed and combed up I'm going to um, add this back section to my front part of my ponytail so try to make it as smooth as possible um, I'm just gonna you know kind of use my hands to brush it up and take that ponytail holder off and then put it all in one ponytail Now that I finally got my ponytails together, I'm just going to lay down the baby hairs with some edge control. And I use Cream of Nature edge control. Um, and I find that to work best for me or Jill. But I still have to like put a scarf on or something to make it lay down and stay for the whole day.
So I have my baby hairs laid down and I'm just going to move my ponytail out the way so I can use my two um, paper wrap strips to tie my hair down to help it lay down. Of course, this is just like using a scarf or anything. You could probably use a silk scarf. But this is just what I had. And I'm just going to lay my edges down while I complete the ponytail. So now I'm just going to braid my ponytail all the way to the end and use a rubber band to secure it. I didn't braid my hair all the way to the end. I wanted to leave um, some of the ends loose because the lower I put the rubber band, it's, it's easier to slide off. So I kind of wanted to, I'm not going to go all the way to the end of my ponytail. That's the reason they're still a little bit hanging. Now that I have my ponytail braided, I'm just going to take another strip of that wrap paper and wrap my ponytail with the paper just so that when I'm doing the extended ponytail, I don't get any glue on my actual hair. So I just wrap it all the way around and then I'm going to take a rubber band to secure it at the base because I found when I first did this on somebody else and I didn't put the rubber band, it slid right off of the ponytail. So I want to put one in the base and I'm going to put one at the end of that paper as well. Now I'm going to take my bundle and I'm just unrolling it and this is a 14 inch Brazilian straight bundle from my hairline I'm coming out with called Every Girl's Hair. Stay tuned for that. But I'm just unwrapping the bundle and I'm going to start at the tip of the ponytail and use my hair glue. Put a little bit of hair glue and start wrapping from the bottom of that paper on my ponytail all the way to the top. And I'm just going to keep applying glue, wrapping it, and then I'll use a blow dryer every now and again to kind of help it dry faster. Um, but basically, you're just going to see me wrapping and gluing the hair onto my ponytail from the bottom to the top. Y'all, this actually was really hard to do on myself. <laughs> Um, trying to look in the mirror and see where I was putting the glue and make sure I was in the camera. It was so hard. But yeah, just keep watching. There definitely are a few things I have learned doing this. I've done it before, but this is the first time I filmed it. And this is the first time I've done a high ponytail. So I did have a little bit of slippage with the paper and everything, but it still turned out cute. So just keep watching. And let me know what you guys think in the comments.
As you can see, the paper has slipped away from the base of my ponytail because of me having to put the ponytail forward to try to see what I'm doing. And the ponytail is a little bit looser. So what I'm going to do on this part, and it actually cut out because my camera wasn't recording, but I'm basically just going to put glue to at the to the end of the paper and then I'm just going to start wrapping the hair around my ponytail and then once I get to the ponytail holder I'm going to start putting the glue again and you see it skipped all the way to me wrapping the hair around the ponytail because like I said I wasn't recording and I was so upset but anyway after I wrapped all of the hair around my ponytail and let the glue dry, I just took a piece of the bundle from the back and started wrapping it around the ponytail. And all I'm doing is spraying it section by section and then blow drying it so it will stay in place. You can use bobby pins or you can use a flat iron to help it stay in place. I just decided to use the blow dryer to help it stay in place. I'm really just uh, blow drying just to make sure it's secure and it stays in place. And now I'm just going to take the ponytail and kind of bend it so it won't be so stiff and place it how I want it to be placed. I look like a genie, y'all. <laughs> but now I'm just going to curl the ponytail because I didn't want it to be straight. And notice how I have to hold the base of the ponytail to curl it just so... It won't get any looser from me pulling at the ponytail. Because I don't want this thing to come off. But it was on pretty secure. Even though it moved a little bit, it was still on there pretty good. I'm sorry y'all, my angles was a little bit trash when trying to curl this out of my hair. So bear with me, but you get the concept. I'm just curling the ponytail, taking all the straight pieces and curling it with the flat iron. And here's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.